man, Steven Salas was not joking around when he said the Houston Rockets were going to be difficult to guard. The Houston Rockets flashed a ton of potential last night. Now, granted, it's preseason. We're taking it with a grain of salt. They played the San Antonio Spurs. We're also taking that with a grain of salt. But we saw Tari Eason. We saw Jabari Smith Jr., our two first-round draft picks, absolutely feast. We also saw a little bit of Ty Ty Washington Jr. But it was the first time that we saw, as Houston Rocket fans or just basketball fans in general, Jalen Green, KPJ, Elper, and Shangun out there at the same time as Tari Eason, Jabari Smith Jr., and all of our rookies. So, Raphael Stone continues to impress me. I think Jabari Smith Jr. really flashed why he was number, or supposed to be projected number one draft pick for majority of the season. Majority of the college season, Jabari Smith Jr. was that guy, and we really saw it last night. But as a whole, the Houston Rockets were just extremely impressive on both sides of the court. We shot 55% from the field. We shot 44% from downtown. We had 60 rebounds, out-rebounded the San Antonio Spurs, 30 to assists. You love to see it. A bunch of defensive statistics. We had 68 points in the paint. That's also just something you absolutely love to see. Now, there are some things they need to work on. For example, 27 fouls. It's a lot of fouls. 20 turnovers, that's a lot of turnovers. So I'm not here to say that the Houston Rockets will be a play-in team because honestly, guys, I don't think our defense is there. I don't think our roster is quite where we want it to be where when we look at this upcoming draft class, it's pretty talented, especially at the top. And I would imagine the Houston Rockets have lottery aspirations for one more season. However, we'd take 30 wins. I think all of us watching if you're a rocket fan you take 30 wins we want to start setting that basketball winning culture relatively soon this is probably the last year that the houston rockets have in their window to you know lose without repercussions so welcome back to the channel man my name is jackson i post daily nba content i'm also going to be posting this on my daily houston rockets channel if you guys don't know that the link will be down below you can type in houston rockets daily this video will also be on houston rockets daily to prove so if you're confused that's <laughs> clear we'll clear that confusion up but really man last night uh, here's the thing tari eason's preseason is pretty big because you have a bunch of guys fighting for minutes a spot in the rotation to even just make the roster in general we look at guys like eric gordon i don't think eric gordon will be starting on this team much longer i do think he'll start probably for the first month or two on houston but if tari plays the way he played last night in just 21 minutes guys 21 points 9 of 13 from the field 1 of 2 from downtown he had 10 rebounds he had two steals he had a block he was a, finished as a plus 14. if tari eason plays the way he did last night he will be starting very soon and i wouldn't be surprised as deep as this class was i would not be surprised if he ended up making an all nba rookie first all rookie first team with jabari smith jr who man this is what this is why first off guys he he's listed at 611 jabari smith jr is listed at 611 that is the coolest thing i could possibly hear we are going to see him at the three we're going to see him at the four we're going to see him at the five we're going to see him handling the ball we saw it last night we saw if you watched any film on jabari smith jr in college he has this swagger to him. It reminds me of Jalen Green, and I think it's pretty much getting into the new Houston Rockets culture, which we're still trying to identify. I think we're going to have a much better idea of our culture by the end of this season and as this season progresses. Jabari Smith Jr. just walks on up, shoots it, bang. You're going to see a bunch of that. We saw a bunch of that at Auburn. You're going to see a bunch of that this upcoming season. When Jabari is hot, he's hot, man, and he's going to shoot it. I thought that he looked a lot more comfortable. He looked a lot more poised. He looked really, really good on the defensive end. So if we have Jabari Smith Jr. and Tari Eason long-term as our three and as our four, an interchangeable three and four who can guard multiple different positions, they can switch on to guards, they can switch on to big men, that's what we're looking for. That right there is what we're looking for. But like I said, you know, I don't think our defense is as good. Keep in mind, man, you know, we kept the Spurs in 96, right? But the Spurs are probably going to be the worst team in the NBA. They're, prob they, they're probably going to be the worst team in the NBA. If not, they're going to be the second or third worst team in the league. So even 
even because we're taking it with a grain of salt because it's just preseason in general, we're taking the Spurs with a grain of salt as well. So we got the Raptors next Friday. That'll actually give us a, a little bit better of idea of rotations, who's fitting with who, who isn't fitting with who. Moving on, though, we have Jalen Green. Now, Jalen Green played 23 minutes. He only shot 3 at 12, 0 4 from downtown. However, he looks a lot bigger than he did in his rookie season. He looks a lot more confident as well. It looks like an improved second half Jalen Green. And as we all know, Jalen Green in the second half of this past season was averaging 20 at least night in and night out. He even dropped 41 in the post or in the regular season finale. So Jalen Green, I, I, even though KPJ and Jalen Green, they were not shooting the ball well. First off, KPJ had six assists and three steals. So I'm not worried about their shooting splits in any way, shape, or form. Only two turnovers from Kevin as well. Both of them put up single-digit point totals, but I saw what I needed to see. Elbrin Shangun. Now, five turnovers. First game of the preseason. Take it with a grain of salt. Five of six from the field, five rebounds, three assists. He was a lot more involved in the offense. The Houston Rockets offense in general moved a lot more fluidly. This, it, it just looked like really good offensive basketball and defensive basketball it looked like really good basketball last night from the houston rockets alpern shangun is a guy we all know as houston rocket fans outside houston rocket fans they're starting to learn the name alpern shangun i think a lot of people realize his potential and i think it's really going to come into motion especially having a season in euro ball just more reps because he was really raw last season, whether it was turnovers, personal fouls, et cetera, et cetera. Really talented, but really raw. We're going to see a, a, we're gonna see a much more rounded Alpern Shangun this season. Moving on to the bench, man, we did see KPJ. I talk a lot about the KP, or sorry, KJ Martin Jr. situation on the Houston Rockets channel, so check that out once again. Josh Christopher, Josh Christopher's a dog. It's another one of those just low-key rocket players that we all know that I think the NBA is about to be awoken by all this young talent on the Rockets. People think about the Rockets. They're like, yeah, they got young talent. You got Jalen Green. KPJ is enticing. Is he going to be a point guard? Though I say yes. But, you know, not too many people realize Josh Christopher. One stat that really shocked me with Christopher was, first off, he shot three or four from downtown last night. And the reason I bring that up is because what we saw in the summer league and what we saw last night is a really, really confident and a really comfortable, especially from downtown Josh Christopher. But I thought we saw plenty of glimpses of Josh Christopher's three ball last season. And it really surprised me when I looked into his statistics that he shot 29.6% from downtown last year. That blew my mind because I'm like, Josh Christopher was a pretty solid, like, he wasn't supposed to be a solid three-point shooter, but I didn't view him as a liability in any way, shape, or form. I'm shocked that him and Jay Sean Tate had, like, the same three-point percentage last season because I trust Josh Christopher. If Josh Christopher wants to take a three, take that three. You know what I'm saying? I feel a little bit differently with Jay Sean Tate. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the Houston Rockets. Just one preseason game. But hit that like button, hit that sub button. All my links are going to be down below. Check this video out on Houston Rocks Daily. I'll probably be live later tonight on Monday. And, yeah, follow the Instagram at Jackson Australia. That's all I got for you guys.